So God, what's the meaning of this? Why? Why can't you give this man, this man that have the world? Because I know some of them suffering. I said, why can't you give them full worship? These people that have the world, that if you ask me, I would even say, remove me from the earth. Let them be the one preaching. Why can't you give them followership? They have very small churches. Even on social media, there's nobody following them. And why, God, why can't you give this? I was just weeping in the night. Why can't you give these people followership? Why can't you give these pastors who have the true word? Look at these thieves, the kind of crowds they have. The kind of crowd. See the way they are causing deceit. Deceit. They, they cause it to prosper and they, the innocent just follow. And you see men standing with Christ, standing with the truth and all of that stuff. You see those who have a lot of everything about their church is a lie. It's a lie. Except if you don't know the Bible. If you know the Bible, you know this is a lies. It is when you don't know the Bible, you begin to get amazed and, and believe in, in whatever they are saying. They lie a lot. They, they, they will come and bring a false prophecy. When God exposed them, they do something to cover it. The, the, the other one in Nigeria, who, who is the, the, just of reason, everything is flying. The, uh, the, uh, a woman is coming out and, and crying over what, what he has done. He, he, he now went and carried money and was giving to people freely, trying to pay some school fees and do a kind of, no, I, you know. And, and you see crowds still believing on such a, a demonic system. That's why I cried to the Lord last night. I said, why can't you give these people who are holding the truth? Just give them people. Give them audience. Give them bigger platforms. Because these sons of Satan, they are spreading. All these preachers who through their cunning, they, they have capacity to make lies. To, they have sweet speech, sweet, sweet lips. They know how to squeeze this scripture and just bamboozle anyone that is not established in Christ. They, they, they just talk the nonsense they are talking and people are believing. They lie. Nobody check them up. Nobody check them up. They lie upon lie upon lie and the people are still saying amen. They are still saying amen to it. That is the enemy we have. Every elect this end time that is our enemy. The Antichrist. The spirit of the Antichrist is the enemy now. Now, what breakthrough is coming? God is giving us breakthrough against the Antichrist. That's what is coming. That's the essence of the breakthrough. It's breakthrough against the Antichrist and his works. And listen, there is something I saw that got me so, 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 so excited. There's a place in scriptures which maybe I will, I will show us maybe on Wednesday where God will gather the wealth of this end time and bring it to the elect I will show you on Wednesday the things as regard to financial breakthroughs and all of that stuff in confronting the antichrist system it's like invading the storehouse of the antichrist and say this wealth belongs to me this is mine you can't keep it again you can't keep using it for your own wicked intent to prosper the seed i am taking it away from you that's why you have to stand strong don't stagger in faith tell your neighbor don't stagger in faith stand strong don't stagger in faith are you understanding